Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review on the Coach Tabby 26. I recently unboxed this bag on my channel and I cannot wait to go through this. I have been kind of dressing up this bag a little bit and playing around with the straps so I'm going to show you all of the ins and outs of how much I've been loving this bag. But before I get into it, I do want to introduce myself in case you're new here. Welcome, my name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal's Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. I'm so grateful for this platform and I love getting to connect with each of you that love handbags, especially coach bags, as much as I do. That being said, let's get into the video. So I have the bag right here. I wore her today. So this is my Coach Tabby 26 in the pebbled leather and this is in the gray blue color. So I do have some different chains on her. This is how I've been preferring to wear her. So you've got the pebbled leather here and then the smooth leather on the C. And when you open this up, it's a strong magnetic closure. You do have an interior pocket, which I don't use for anything. And then on the leather, it says the Tabby bag genuine pebbled leather. And so the interior, I do have my bag packed for the day. So I am going to do a what's in my bag. And then the back has a back pocket as well, which is where I put my phone. However, when I do put my phone in here, it does make it a little bit more difficult to close this just because I feel like the leather is almost stretched. And I'll show you what it looks like. So I have my phone here. It's the iPhone 14 Pro. And it really stretches open this back pocket when you have other things in this bag. However, it works like it's not like it's a bad thing it does fit it's just not something that I want to keep in long term because I do feel like it's almost stretching this back pocket a little bit also I will say this is still quite new to me so the leather is still very like tight and structured it's not like worn in yet so that could also be the reason for that it comes with the shoulder strap and it also comes with a crossbody strap, which I will show you later. I predominantly wear it with this shoulder strap. I added a little extender onto my shoulder strap. I got this on Amazon and it just hooks on on each side. I think that it's so cute and it makes the shoulder strap a little bit longer to wear it as like a long shoulder bag, which I love. And then I also added this double chain. I got both of these on Amazon. I will link them in the description box down below. This chain I added on as well and it's like a pearl and silver chain mix and I kind of just love it hanging but you could also wear it on the shoulder with that. I feel like if I'm going to go out to dinner or somewhere a little bit dressier, I would take the other shoulder strap off and just wear it with this and it looks super cute. You could also wear all three together and be a little bit extra and put it on your shoulder like this. So I've been loving this. This is kind of like my secret sauce on how I really like this bag to be worn. And then the bottom of the bag has just like these ridges. It doesn't have any feet, but this like holds the bag up. So this leather is never going to touch the ground if you were to put your bag on the ground or on any type of surface. So that's just kind of the overview of the bag. I would say this bag fits a lot and I am going to compare it to the Coach Tabby Pillow 26, which I will show you now. So I have the Coach Tabby Pillow 26 in this gorgeous green. I think that this is Amazon green and this one has gold hardware. It's very, very puffy and I like this one preferably as a crossbody. So I have the crossbody strap on this one and not the top handle, which I actually have inside the bag. So this bag is a little bit different. You've got this top handle or as a shoulder bag, which I never wear it like that. But this one only has two compartments in the zipper pocket. So the Coach Tabby, the other one that I showed you has multiple compartments. So this one doesn't fit as much. And because of the leather being so puffy, it is a little bit more cumbersome to get your things in. This bag looks bigger than it actually is, in my opinion. I really love this as a crossbody. I think it's still a great size just because it doesn't fit as much, but it does fit the essentials, which is great. So as a comparison, they look very different in my opinion. This one looks a little bit more sleek and clean and this one just looks a little bit more like fun and trendy. I think that they both have 
pros and cons between the two. So like this one doesn't have feet on the bottom and it just has the leather throughout. I would say that this leather is really soft, really beautiful, whereas this one is really structured, really pebbled, and just like this one is definitely more durable than this one. But this one is really more fun to hold and touch and like squish. This one I feel like is a little bit more elevated and is more of an everyday bag in my opinion. I don't find that I have a ton that matches with this color and you would think that it would go with a lot. I do usually wear gold hardware more and I'm actually pleasantly surprised that the Coach Tabby 26 and the pebbled leather I'm getting a lot of use out of with the silver hardware. It's just really like soft and I feel like the silver looks a little bit more casual for everyday wear. So I am going to do some mod shots with these bags just to show you what they look like on the body. I will show you this one on the shoulder and as a crossbody and I will show you this one with both of the straps just so you can get an idea if you are in between the two. I'm five foot two for reference and the crossbody straps I will have on the shortest settings. So starting with this one, I really like this with the strap extender. It gives me a little bit more room to kind of play. So if I didn't have the strap extender on, it would be here. So you wouldn't have as much room as you can see under the armpit. But with the strap extender, it gives you a lot more room. And I just love how it's hanging. I love the chains dangling as well. So this is what she looks like on the shoulder. So then to compare on the shoulder, the pillow looks cute on the shoulder. Like it's not bad. I think that I would probably add a strap extender actually to wear this as a shoulder bag. And I think that I would want to do it more. It's just like so far up and under the shoulder for me that I think that I need a little bit more wiggle room. And so this is what this looks like. I also feel like because it's so puffy, it's like so much space between my body and my arm that it's a little bit weird. I also don't have anything in this bag right now, but I do think that it looks cute on the shoulder if you were gonna wear it like this. Then for size comparison, this is what they look like up against the body together. So I would say that they're both like very comparable in size, but the pillow tabby is definitely thicker for sure. As a crossbody, this is what this one looks like. It's a really good size for me. The crossbody strap is also very comfortable and I just love the way that it lays. And then as a crossbody, the pillow tabby is definitely a little bit higher up on me, which I prefer. I also think it lays really nicely. I think it works on my frame just fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I have in this bag today. I would put my phone in the back pocket so I don't have it on the inside. And then when you open it up, I did wanna mention, this is a really beautiful like micro suede in here. I really love it. And I love that the color continues into the inside from the outside. So in this front pocket, I don't have anything. So you've got a pocket here and then the pocket right behind it, which is the biggest pocket. I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I use as my wallet. And then I also have a hand cream in there, which is quite big. And then I have my key fob. Then in the middle zipper compartment, the only thing that I have in there is my travel size Advil, which I just always bring it with me just in case. And then I'll show you. So that was the zipper pocket. Then in this back pocket, I have my pouch and a perfume. So I have this little like travel size Ariana Grande vanilla perfume and then I have my pouch so I don't need to carry the pouch I could put all of this stuff inside the zipper pocket I just kind of grabbed all my things and left so I have my cosmetics in here this is a faux leather pouch from Amazon I will link it in the description box below and then I just have like all my cosmetics in here I've got a couple lip glosses an eyebrow pencil some lip liners so I just really like to have this it's super convenient so that's everything that I had in my bag I I don't really need much more but you could fit a sunglasses case in here you could fit a little like headphones or airpods that could go in here but overall I think this is a really nice everyday kind of casual bag and I really like to dress it up with the additional chains I just think that that's so fun I would say overall this has become a really great shoulder bag for me I love that it's like a baguette style so this one is definitely a new favorite of mine from coach I really love the quality of the leather I I think the only part on this bag that will get damaged 
finished is the smooth leather C just from opening and closing it. You could definitely get like your nail marks on here, which I hope that that doesn't happen. I will keep you updated on that. I got this bag from 24S and I got it on sale, which was an amazing price. Plus I got cash back with Rakuten. That's in the description box below as well. So this one I did get on sale. I think that they are kind of pricey. I believe that this bag retails for $4.95, which in my opinion is kind of a lot, but I think that this is a really great bag and I am glad that I got it on sale. So that is going to conclude this Coach Tabby review and comparison. If you have any questions about these bags, I'd be happy to answer those for you in the comments down below. And if you're still here with me, thank you so much. I so appreciate you. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments, which one is your favorite. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.